In a recent training initiative, soldiers from the Washington and Oregon National Guard, specifically from the 81st Striker Brigade Combat Team and 96th Troop Command, kicked off the new year with rigorous new weapons training. The training took place at Camp Murray and Joint Base Lewis McCord on January 16 and 17, as reported by Sergeant First Class Nicholas A. Cloward of the 122nd Theater Public Affairs Support Element. The training program commenced with comprehensive classroom instruction at Camp Murray. The primary focus was on familiarizing the soldiers with three new weapon systems, the M110A1 Squad Designated Marksman Rifle, the MK-22 Precision Sniper Rifle, and the M3 Multirole Anti-Armor Anti-Personnel Weapon System. Soldiers delved into understanding the functions, safety protocols, and maintenance procedures for these advanced weaponry. The MK-22 Precision Sniper Rifle, set to replace the Army's existing sniper rifles, boasts a modular, multi-barrel design that equips sniper teams with increased versatility and firepower. The following day, despite the rainy conditions, soldiers ventured to the ranges at Joint Base Lewis McCord for practical hands-on training with these cutting-edge weapons. Of particular note is the M110A1 Squad Designated Marksman Rifle, SDMR, which provides infantry, scout, and engineer squads with the capability to engage targets up to 600 meters away. As Sergeant First Class Tyler Anderson, an infantry platoon sergeant with Alpha Company, 1st Battalion, 161st Infantry Regiment, 81st Striker Brigade Combat Team, Washington National Guard, pointed out, the introduction of the M110A1 as a primary weapon system for his weapon squad leader enhances their ability to plan for enemy engagements effectively. Another noteworthy addition is the M3 Multirole Anti-Armor Anti-Personnel Weapon System, M3MAAWS, often referred to as the Carl Gustav. Produced by Saab, this 84mm lightweight, man-portable recoilless rifle offers adaptability with a wide range of munitions suitable for various combat scenarios. These new weapons not only enhance the soldiers' capabilities but also require them to develop standard operating procedures SOPs, to ensure effective and safe utilization. As they become more proficient with these advanced tools, they can pass on their expertise to their units, ultimately maintaining an edge on the battlefield.